No, that's a Eddie Cleanhead Vinson composition. Eddie Cleanhead Vinson was a blues player who wrote a lot of jazz tunes that jazz musicians play today. Mm. Miles Davis recorded a lot of them. One of them is a tune called Tune Up. That's Eddie Cleanhead Vinson's song. And that was Tune Up we just heard? No, what we just heard was Blinky. Blinky. Yeah, I learned that from Wes Montgomery when I was in the Air Force. So how did you meet Wes Montgomery in the Air Force? Well, I was stationed in, uh, in Rantoul, Illinois. And just south of Rantoul, about 15 miles, was Champaign, Illinois. And I would go down there and go to the Amvets Club, which was on the black side of town. And there was this band, and Wes was in it, he and Jack McDuff, the actual band. So you were playing by ear but then? Playing by ear? Or, yes. No, I was writing music, reading it, and everything. Okay, so, so when, did you learn that, when did you learn that skill? Because that's something you have to study, you don't just pick it up. I guess that's what happened. <laughs> you just picked it up. <laughs> well, then I'm wrong. I, do, I, had, a, I had a teacher. <laughs> When I was a kid, uh, I was, I don't know, 15 or something. So now I have a saxophone, and I'm taking lessons, okay, from this music teacher, from the saxophone teacher. He's teaching me how to actually play the saxophone, not jazz. He's teaching me how to play the horn. So my mother told me one day, she said, you know what, man, I, I, I'm working as hard as I can, but I just can't afford to pay for those music lessons anymore. So I went to my teacher and I said, look, I need to finish this. What can I do? I don't have any money. He said, okay, I'll tell you what, you can come over and, and, and cut the grass in my yard and I'll give you a lesson. So I did that. So one day I'm over there doing that and this little kid comes up to me, he's about eight or something. He comes in. He says, hi. I said, hi. He says, you live in nigger town? And I thought, which one of his parents told him that? He's only eight. Mm. <laughs> so I was starting to get a peep on what was really happening here. So after a while, I was in high school, and it was so bad, I was thinking about all of the stuff that went down. I thought, well, you know what, I want to go somewhere else. I want to go to Japan. Different culture, everything different. I'm going to join the Air Force. So I go join the Air Force, and the guy says, well, what do you want to do? I said, I want to go to Japan. It's no problem. Sign right here. <laughs> So I signed, and they sent me to Illinois in 